The first Marquette Law School poll since the presidential election was released yesterday. It looked at how Wisconsin residents feel about how the president is doing and addressed many other questions as well. Charles Franklin is the director of the Marquette Law School poll. Good to see you again, Charles. Good to be back. Before we get to the poll results, let's talk about what's happening today on Capitol Hill and House Republicans have postponed the vote on their health care replacement bill. Uh, you know, this has been a difficult bill to get agreement on because the Republican Party is fractured. This isn't Democrats holding things up it's the party not being able to agree mm -hmm. uh, you know there's this has been a replacement long in the making but not very long in getting agreement about what to do repeal and replace yes but with what and you're seeing the fruits of that you're also seeing the complicated procedural mess problem they have of passing it through the budget reconciliation process also limits what they can do in the bill that's also providing problems for them. And you asked, you asked in your poll what to do about the health care law. And here what we've seen is for Wisconsin, uh, a solid majority, if you put the top two together, 60% say either keep it as it is or keep it an improvement. 36% say repeal and replace or just replace. That's close to what we've seen in the past. But since the election, we've seen some rise in the percentage of people who have a favorable view of the existing Affordable Care Act or Obamacare law. And that rise is because people are concerned about what replacement would look like. We ask people, just your best guess, do you think more or fewer people will be covered? 49% think fewer people will be covered. Uh, and only about 20% think more will be covered. And also, do you think costs will go up or go down? Most people, 45%, think it'll go up. So it's that concern about what the replacement might look like that's helping or leading people to feel a little more protective of what they've got right now. And according to and the Affordable Care Act, is pretty popular in your poll. Uh, we did an experiment where we randomly asked half of the people, what do you think of the 2010 health care law, also known as the Affordable Care Act, or what do you think of the 2010 law, also known as Obamacare? When it's asked as the Affordable Care Act, 51 percent have a favorable view. I think that 53 unfavorable is incorrect. Yeah, it's that would 40 percent unfavorable. That would be more than 100 percent. But the, but the 53 <laughs> is what goes the other way. If you say it's Obamacare, Oop. then it's 53 percent unfavorable, only 40 percent favorable. So it's the same thing. If you call it Obamacare, <laughs> 10% more than 10% less favorability even though we've had six years of virtually continual debate about this law well, seven years actually I think um, and uh, you know it just shows that partisanship carries over if you put Obama's name on it it makes a difference and also of course something that's the Affordable Care Act sounds pretty mm -hmm. good if you don't know anything else. It's all marketing. That yeah. was very revealing though. Yeah. Even people don't recognize that it's the same Even thing. after this much time you, yeah. you know there's no other issue that's been debated as much over this time period. Well how is the president doing in Wisconsin residents opinion that you polled? He's close to where he is nationally. 41 percent approve of the job he's doing. 47 disapprove. His national average is in the low 40s as well though some are high and some are lower um, and that I think is a little surprising in the sense that there's no honeymoon for this president either here in the state or nationally both parties are extremely polarized about him 86 percent of Republicans approve of the job he's doing 89 percent of Democrats disapprove independents are sort of split between the two um, Normally, the out party gives the new president a little bit of time to make up their mind, but not this time. Usually, wait at least a midterm or so. The other thing that's interesting is Republicans in the fall had some reservations about him. Only 66% had a favorable view of him among Republicans just before the election. Today, it's 90% the party has come home to their new president. But the country's divided as ever. Very much so. All right, we'll keep an eye on the Affordable Care Act. What's it called now, the health care bill? The Affordable <laughs> Obamacare. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it all together, one big lump. Charles, thanks for being with us. Thank you. We'll be right back with final check of your weather.